So the question is, the pig's gonna like kombucha. Oh, you smell that, piggies? Good morning, modern statters. The pigs hear us. Speaking of pigs, we had, hold on. Good morning, girls. Good morning. We have the wide angled lens back on so you can see all the pig action and everything that's going on at Lumna Acres. You enjoying them apples? Speaking of pigs, we've had a lot of pig videos lately because there's a lot of stuff going on with our pasture raised bacon machines over here and you are loving all of them. We've been getting a lot of questions. I'll link the videos here in here, or here and here, they'll be somewhere. What are you doing? You playing? Think that is a toy? You're working it for the camera? You silly. Somebody was asking in the comments about fermented apples and what it does to pig. You can answer that question for yourself. They're crazy. They woke up like that already. Oh, now they're chewing on each other's ears. Somebody asked and they wanted to know how long the feed will last. Freshness wise, I don't know if there's an issue for storing it. But I know as long as you keep it in a dry, cool, not damp area, it's going to last a while. What's going to happen and ruin all of your grain is if it gets wet or if the mice get in it. So we keep it in our basement on a pallet up off the concrete floor and we can keep it there for six months and we haven't had an issue. Our pigs last year ate it just fine all the way to the end and these pigs have been eating it and it smells fresh. I don't have any issues. It's not wet. It's not damp. It doesn't stink. It still seems very good. Another comment on the grain was is that you're one of the only YouTubers we see feeding your pigs commercial feed. You're not going out and getting their own grains and making their own feed form. And we do, we buy commercial grain. Ours is not organic. <laughs> Where we live in northern New Hampshire, we cannot find whether it's organic grain or if it's grain separately for a good price. It would be way too expensive for us to feed our pigs organically. That being said, we feed our chickens organically because we can get the chicken feed at a good price. But we're committed to feed our animals as best as we can. So there's a two pot or three pot answer to that question. That being said, every time we go to the grain store, I ask the owners, can you guys get non-GMO feed yet? Can you get organic pig feed yet? And what are the prices? I wanna keep on them to see if they'll keep checking into their sources. If we switch to non-GMO or organic grain up here for our pigs, I'd be paying triple the price for the feed and we can't afford that. So we keep our pigs on pasture, we feed them fresh grass, we feed them fresh apples as you can see, and I believe that has a big effect on their diet. When it comes to raising pigs, and not just pigs, any animals, there's a lot more to how healthy your animal is than what you just feed them. I'd much rather have my pigs out on pasture eating conventional grain than them being inside in a confinement barn eating organic grain. A happy pig or a happy animal is gonna make a lot better meat than an unhappy animal fed organic grain. One of the things I think about is I used to have anxiety really bad or when if you get stressed or if I have anxiety now, I can feel it kind of rushing through my body and I get all mad, my body gets tight and it just feels like poison pumping through my body. Well, if your pigs or any of your animals are raised that way confinemently or not happy or they're mad and you're kicking them around, think about what that's gonna do to the meat. That's gonna taint the meat and it's gonna make it terrible so whether that was organic fed meat or not, your meat's not gonna be good. So if you're buying store-bought organic meat, they're raised that way and they're not happy and the meat is ruined. So I'd rather raise my pigs on pasture here and feed them conventional grain than eat organic meat from the store. The meat is gonna be a lot better for them and for me. If you can't afford organic grain, don't worry about it. Just raise the happiest animals you can raise and you're gonna get the best meat possible you can get for your family. 
Are you a happy pig? Are you a happy pig? What? 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 Did you find a truffle? Did you get a truffle? If you find a truffle, you better save it for me. No, nope, I think it was just a dirt ball you're eating. You're crazy. The other thing I think about a lot is grass and greens are loaded with chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is a natural detoxifier. And it just gets everything out of your body. So if my animals are eating plenty of grass and greens, they're flushing all the nasty stuff out of their body. We bought our grain in bulk. The reason we did that is we were able to save $2 a bag at the time. So instead of spending $11 a bag, we spent $9 a bag. So we have $360 invested into the grain for our pigs. That is a great price. And right now, we're gonna give them some kombucha. You want some kombucha, Pluto? No, I didn't think so. So the question is, the pig's gonna like kombucha. Let's find out. Now, no, we're not wasting this. This is the cranberry flavored kombucha we made. And we do not enjoy it. And we need to make a new batch of flavored kombucha, so we need our bottles back. Oh, you smell that, piggies? We're gonna get some good probiotics going in your belly. Don't touch that fence. The pigs know the good stuff. They want the kombucha. They say, give us the kombucha. Is that some good stuff, Mrs. Pigs? It's giving you an itchy nose. They love that. I can hear it in the comments now. You're wasting your kombucha. No, we're not. The pigs are drinking it and they're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be good for their stomachs and it's gonna make great pasture-raised bacon that we'll be eating come the end of October. Oh, I see a little mini scoby there. They're gonna eat that and that'll be good for them too. Make sure you get all of it, Spots. Slurp it up. Mmm. Dirt and cranberry flavored kombucha. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I dare you to. And while you're down there, hit the little bell button and that'll turn on notifications and let you know when we upload videos or when we go live. Speaking of live, I did a live video Wednesday night with Will from the Weekend Homestead. I'll put a link to that video here in the description down below. Don't forget to check out our new website, Lumna Acres, if you want to learn more about what we're doing here. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.